you're about to watch a video on samurai swordsmanship. If you can help me out, get yourself a copy of the book of Bushido, but let's go. Okay, how many sword stances do we know in Japanese? You might be used to Gedan, Chudan, the higher version of Chudan, and then you might go all the way up to the different types of Jodan that you find in the different schools, even to the one where it's right above your head. But what if I was to tell you that looking through the art and the scrolls of old Japanese swordsmanship, it might be more like this. Jodan might be here. Chudan or might be here. Then we get a different type of Chudan and then Gedan. What if I told you by looking through different books on different Japanese stuff, different translations of uh, ancient Japanese scrolls, that actually maybe the stances were not so dramatic in certain schools like Yagyu. Let's go through some of the stances. So we get really low ones. We get ones that move into the sort of lower to mid range. We then get mid range ones that start to come up and start to have the sword point at the enemy's eyes. This then can move even further forward or more with a, a pronounced bit in this area. You can see his back's quite far over. And this again moves, can move again. So it pushes slightly forward, you can see. Now here we get the back stance, but it's straight as a die, the, you know, up, then straight up with the uh, above the head. I'm not going to use the Japanese names here so much, I'm going to do that in another video. But then it moves into this lovely stance, which is a very stretching far forward one uh, with the sword out. But there's an alternative version to this, which is this. It's the same stance from the same kata, but they actually have it down and not halfway up. Now, the reason I'm showing this is uh, long ago, a YouTube channel, I don't know if they're still going, and I won't mention their name, had a massive go at me and said, Samurai would never ever, um, swordsman would never ever bend over or lean over. And in Miyamoto Masashi, it says stand up straight, but there's plenty of examples, and this is one. This is the Matsudaira line from the um, Yagyu line. The images are made by a man called Yagyu. There are multiple versions and transcriptions of them. We don't know which is our original ones, but we can compare them. Like you just saw, the one with the stance up and the one with the stance down, there are slight differences, but they are, com are comparable. And it's clear that from at least the later 1500s to 1600, 1601, swordsmen of the time were crouching and leaning forward. Now, and away from the more classic stances. So we're gonna have a look through the stances again. Let's just have a go and I'll chat to you. But I just wanna show you that there is physical proof from the Sengoku period. They're actually drawn in 1601 most of these original ones but we're talking about a guy who was fighting in the 1570s onwards or a family that were and they came from the same family who taught the shogun of all japan so literally just after the sengoku period finishes and in the osaka campaign they are starting to teach the shogun and the tokugawa family and they are literally bending over and creeping over in almost all of their stances except for the single few where they clearly stand up straight or stand up straight and it shows you if it's not an artistic mistake they definitely have a difference in the style of stance i want to use this video to prove to you that the samurai did indeed lean forward when they went into dual like swordsmanship but also that their swordsmanship was much more dynamic and less static than we imagine here i'm playing around with some of the stances and some of the leans now the original issue came from uh, i was doing some sword cutting on some meat uh, for a katana mark company and uh, i was told samurai don't lean forward but i've been doing a lot of research on this and clearly samurai lean forward and they do adopt these stances you can see these types of stances in hema and in fencing you get a lot of the we're about to lash out with energy and power from our feet and they do stand upright like that one like these two where it's a different type of attack but when you get from gedan to jodan uh, uh, at the bottom it's a much more cat-like pouncing um forward leaning aggressive stance and this idea that you know swords and all stood upright and um glance glance blow blow it's just not quite correct i think if we went back in time we would see the samurai were much more aggressive in their stance attitude and movement almost like a modern fencer would be so if you enjoyed this and there'll be many more videos please get a copy of the book of bushido and help me out and it keeps the research going Thank you.